Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This video is about the air element. Now, once again, the reason I'm making these videos about these elements is because all of these elements have certain characteristics, certain vibrations, a wisdom to share that we can all use to bring a little bit more of um, harmony and balance into our life. And the key really is to understand each of these elements at a deeper level so that we can use them more effectively. Now, the first three elements I spoke about, earth, water, and fire, have more physical aspects to them and are associated with the lower three energy centers. So the earth element to the base of the spine, water to our pelvic region, and fire to the core. Now, these next two elements are associated to the higher energy centers and are more subtle in nature, more ethereal in nature. Air is all about lightness, about a fresh beginning, about a fresh perspective. And working with the air element is like opening up your heart, opening up your life, your being, opening up the roof, the windows, the doors to allow a fresh breeze of fresh air to take away anything that we don't need anymore, anything that we need to let go of and make space for the new, for the fresh. Okay, so let's talk about some qualities of the air element. Air is in constant flow. So the air element is an element of movement, of expansion, and that brings with it a certain power that brings to us the ability for work, uh, enthusiasm, and that brings creativity, uh, inspiration, instead of um, stagnant energy, stagnation, okay? Um, now, again, it is all about letting go of what has been, letting go of any attachments to anything that is weighing us down, and instead, finding lightness, okay? Um, being open to newness, to change, right? And just like anything else, um, either too much or too little can have adverse effects in our body, in our mind, in our life. So too much of this air element um, will bring in a lot of creativity, a lot of ideas, a lot of abilities to make new connections, but difficulty in grounding and manifesting them because our mind is just so busy and um, racing with thoughts that we're not able to organize these thoughts properly. And a lack of the air element or too little of it will um, bring a lack of the ability to tap into creativity, uh, to be open to change, and that can lead to apathy, to boredom, to stagnation as well. So the key is once again balance. And throughout this video we will be talking about simple techniques, simple practices that we can use to bring about that balance. Okay, so stay tuned until the end of this video. Now let's talk about which part of the body or where in the body the air element sits. Now our chest, lungs and heart space um, is related to the air element. Our chest and lungs obviously because the, br the breath that we take in and out is air, right? And in yogic traditions it is also said that our lifespan uh, has a certain number of breaths. So the quicker you bre breathe, the quicker you move through that lifespan. So you really want to focus on uh, building awareness and breathing nice and deep, slow breaths, okay? And our breath or the state of our breath is very, very closely related to the state of our mind. So you might have noticed whenever you're anxious or stressed, you tend to breathe very shallow breaths, um, quick breaths and with very rough edges. So that's when we need to take a moment and uh, slow down our breath, take deeper breaths and allow that full expansion to happen. Now talking more about the heart space. The heart space is a very, very sacred energy center in the body. I will talk about chakras in a later video, but this energy center is called the Anahat Chakra. 
the heart chakra and it is the seat of love of compassion of the unity between the physical and the more um, spiritual existence and love is that unifying force that unifying power uh, that can bring things together that can bring people together and that's how relationships are formed that's how families are formed so it's it's really really a beautiful energy and that's why practices that um, are aimed at tuning into this air element include a lot of heart openers chest openers and um, guide us into tuning into that love and inviting more of that love into our body into our mind okay um, now in Ayurveda there's another concept called Sparsha and Sparsha is um, the potential of the touch experience so it is expressed in a more subtle way so touch and air are inseparable and this relationship makes our skin the organ that is associated with the air element and our hands the organs of motion of action associated with the air element okay so uh, whenever there is a distorted wind as we call it in ayurveda uh, we tend to overdo things we tend to multitask we tend to spend a lot of time on the computer in front of the screen uh, so this will definitely bring an imbalance in the air element so we want to slow things down when that happens now talking a little further about ayurveda and the air element now in ayurveda air is behind any and all motion whether it is blood circulation the movement of our breath the nerve impulses that flow through the body the flow of our thoughts okay and the air element is one of the dominant elements that tends to fall out of balance very easily. So let's understand the qualities of the air element as per Ayurveda and how to balance that. So once we understand the qualities, we know how to balance it because you need to bring more of the opposites. So like increases like, so you bring more of the opposites in. So what are the qualities associated with air? Air is cool, is cold in nature. It is dry, rough, hard and irregular okay so when it comes to food for example dry and rough quality foods such as crackers chips popcorn will increase the air element qualities in the body right and that can lead to more dryness in your hair in your skin um, in the nails even um, and that can lead to even dehydration in the colon and uh, lead to constipation okay so you want to include more moist foods uh, more warming oils oily foods to counteract that dryness cold foods will increase the qualities of air in the body so you want to increase more of warm foods cooked foods okay um, raw vegetables or cruciferous vegetables such as uh, cauliflower <coughs> broccoli kale they have a lot of airy qualities beans even so these these types of food will increase the airy quality in your body that can lead to flatulence gas issues uh, in the body okay so you want to decrease that okay um, then what else you can include more root vegetables instead because root vegetables or even nuts and seeds have earth qualities in them so that will counteract the airy qualities right and then eating warming spices ginger for instance um, favoring more cooked and warm foods instead of cold salads is, a, is another way to tweak your diet a little bit now also it is very very important that you eat slowly eating fast is also related or associated with movement um, and that can bring about an imbalance and eating at regular times is also very very important because routine um, in our day-to-day -day life is what is very very beneficial when we want to bring about a balance in the air element especially because air is all about movement about uh, and the opposite is routine okay now 
Too much of the air element brings about an instability not only physically but also mentally. Okay, and there's this beautiful concept in Ayurveda called Rutucharya and Dinacharya, which are routines that are recommended to be followed in accordance with the slots of the day and slots in the year, so weathers. Okay, now coming to weathers first. Autumn is the weather that is associated with the air element because it is a transition from a more bloomy kind of weather to a weakened weather or colder weather okay so all the creativity at that time might be at its best you might be full of ideas you need to watch out for any ex excess excess sorry um, activity or motion and you want to slow things down a little bit tune into more um, grounding practices more calming practices okay and watch your diet as well so include more warming foods for example um, then when it comes to Dinacharya or the time slots in the day uh, that have different um, uh, qualities, uh, 2 to 6 p.m. and 2 to 6 a.m. Is the time slots are the time slots related to the air element. So for example, in the afternoon, 2 to 6 is again a transition uh, between the day and the night. So again, your creativity might be at its peak, it might be amazing, but you really want to find more grounding practices in a, in a more calming environment, okay? And this is also when a lot of agitation might be felt, okay? So when it comes to the morning, so two to six, just before uh, the sun rise, uh, is also when you might find that your sleep is pretty disturbed and light if you have that imbalance of air element within you. And if you're somebody who wakes up um, before sunrise, which is a very good practice, um, you want to keep your activities pretty grounded instead of doing a lot of physically active um, uh, things. So it is a time that is for receptivity. That's why meditation, prayers, and spiritual practices are best done during this time, okay? So this was a little bit about Ritucharya and Dinacharya, so weather and um, day routines. Right, so we've spoken about how we can kind of adjust our diet. Um, now I'm going to talk about um, practices and I'm going to talk about a yoga asan practice which is called vinyasa and vinyasa is about linking breath and movement consciously. Now pranayama, prana is life force, pranayama is breath work, breathing exercises. Um, Without breathing exercises, yoga asan practice would just be calisthenics, just movements, right? And it is that pranayama that helps you penetrate through all the deeper levels of this physical as well as, well as more blissful aspect of the practice. So it is very important to do pranayama exercises, so breathing practices. They not only help you to increase uh, the capacity of your lungs so you can breathe in more deeper breaths but it also has a very 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 important um, effect on your nervous system it will help you calm your nervous system more effectively and that's something that we definitely definitely need if we have thoughts racing in our mind um, all the time okay so vinyasa practices pranayama practices going in accordance with the energies throughout the slots in the year, so weather wise, and the slots during the day, um, and grounding practices during those times, um, and watching what we're eating, so including more of the opposites if you feel like you're having some of the symptoms that I spoke about earlier. Okay, so these are the few things uh, that we can implement already starting today. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to drop in a comment. I'll be happy to answer your questions or to share anything else that you ask me for. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video until the end. Please share it with whoever you think could benefit from it. Have a great day everyone. Namaste and see you again very soon.